The first step in this activity is to identify the obstacles or potential obstacles on your pathway to success. We want you to list everything you can think of that has been an obstacle for you or that might be an obstacle for you in the future, big or small. We want to give you an example to help you through this activity. I chose no network as a potential obstacle on my pathway to success. We recognize that some obstacles might be out of your control or bigger than what you can work on in this week. So we encourage you to choose the obstacles that you personally can control. Write them down in the first box. Now we want to start thinking about what I'm currently not doing. For the example of not networking, an example could be that I'm not proactively reaching out to peers, colleagues, or potential mentors at conferences. Pick a few of these obstacles that you can realistically build upon in the next few days. List what you're not doing yet in the second box. How's everyone doing? I want to remind you of the reason why we're doing this gap analysis. We want to realistically assess where we are currently so we can identify where we want to be. So now that you have chosen a few items on your list that you're currently not doing, reflect on why you're not doing those items and really be honest with yourself. For the example of not networking, it could be that I'm just shy. I don't like to put myself out there in new, uncomfortable situations such as conferences. List why you're not doing those items in the third box. The last step of this activity is to crowdsource strategies to overcome these obstacles. This is where we identify those strategies and actions that are needed to overcome the obstacles. How are you going to stop it? What resources do you need? For the example we've been using, some strategies could be to ask your mentor to introduce you to Dr. So-and-so, or give you five business cards, or to find a new postdoc friend at the conference reception. You'll share these crowdsourced ideas in the last box.